Police officers in the UK are now asking some crime victims to do their own investigations. Now, this specifically has to do with uh, car theft or any type of damaged property. And according to reports, including The Independent, Householders are being asked by police to look out for potential fingerprint evidence, check for witnesses, and look on secondhand websites for stolen property. They also state a few statistics, including the following. 37 of the 43 forces in England and Wales dealt with some cases over the telephone and close some without the victim ever even meeting a police officer. So people are alarmed by this because they're like, look, why do we have cops if they're not going to do the investigations? Why should the victim do all the legwork when it comes to these issues? No, I think this is a hilarious story. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, um, thanks for calling us. Uh, anyway, can you go ahead and do the investigation yourself? <laughs> and then I would need you why? <laughs> Or perhaps they just play him this. Oh yeah, leads you got leads, great. Are you gonna find these guys, or you know, I mean, you got any promising uh, uh, leads or leads? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, just check with the boys down at the crime lab. They uh, got uh, four more detectives working on the case. The gut is working in shifts. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> no, but that's the, the cops in Britain now. Leads. Yeah, the gut is working in shifts. How the fuck am I supposed to get the fingerprints? I know. That's crazy. And you're supposed to do the research to see if you can find any of your stolen property at like pawn shops and things like that, which is, <laughs> yeah, it's insane. It, it's insane. But look, by the way, for those living in the UK that are like pointing your fingers at us and saying we're no better, believe me, we know we're no better. I mean, oh, our no. police are spending all of their time doing like traffic citations, busting people for drugs and all. And then when it comes to real crime, it's like, yeah, 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 let me write a report. And then they don't do anything about it, which of course is also happening in the you know, UK. I've told this uh, story before, but two stories were for, were for me. One time I got robbed in New York, in my apartment in New York, and the guy left his handprint on the window that he lifted up. I'm like, I have, in this case, I got the lead. I have the fingerprints. <laughs> and cops are like, eh, don't worry about it. They will refuse to show up. I'm like, I have the fingerprints. They're like, well, whatever. We'll never catch him. Okay. And then another time I got my identity stolen when I lived in Miami, I went down to the cops. He's like, you really want to fill out, bother filling out the form? We're not going to do anything about it. Wow. Okay. It's identity <laughs> theft. Like, that'll ruin your life. Yeah, yeah. No, they're like, Shh. so B Britain, believe me, we feel your pain. Yes. Um, so a, a statement from uh, a, an inspector who's really outraged about all of this. I think that he hits the nail on the head. He says, they're the cops and we expect the cops to catch people unless you've got the powers of Mystic Meg or something like that. You not turning up and using your skills, it's going to be mightily difficult to bring people to justice, which is absolutely right. So if people know that the cops aren't actually going to investigate these thefts and, these, and cases of property crime, then they're going to go around doing whatever the hell they want without any type of consequences. Well, that's the thing. Now uh, you've got a vicious cycle. Yeah. Because now they won't decriminalize drugs, right? But in essence, what this article is saying in the Independent is that they have almost decriminalized criminal damage and stolen vehicles. They're not showing up for stolen vehicles. You know what that means? Open season, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You go steal any car they want. You want. You know the cops aren't even going to bother to investigate. That's going to encourage more stolen cars. So and then they'll never be able to keep up. It's a terrible cycle. And besides which, that's what we pay you for to be cops and to do investigations and to make sure you prevent crime. It's like you call the fire department and they're like, "So anyway, you got some water around there? Yeah. You might want to sprinkle that around the house." No, dude, you're the fire department. Show up with a big hose.